Today we're remaking sodium azide using the isopropyl nitrite made in a recent video. For this prep we require hydrazine sulfate, ethanol, sodium hydroxide and isopropyl nitrite. We start by weighing out 30 grams of the hydrazine sulfate transferred to a larger beaker. On the left is 50 milliliters of 99.5% ethanol. Cover this with film because the next step will generate hydrazine. We take 9.6 grams. Next, we make an ice bar. The sodium hydroxide will slowly be added to the hydrazine sulfate in alcohol. I will do this off camera. It will be kept cold with the ice bar. Put it on the stir plate to stir. Sodium hydroxide has been added. This will stir for another 20 minutes and I've weighed out another 9.3 grams of sodium hydroxide. I have added the second lot of sodium hydroxide. What this did was convert bisulfate into the sulfate. That just makes this process easier. Now I have set up a flask with two necks. I'm using a four neck flask, but I've covered two of them. I will add the alcoholic hydrazine solution to the flask. I have decanted it into here. Now into the flask. Next, I can add a bit of ethanol to here just to wash out the hydrazine. Being very careful not to let this touch my fingers, I should be wearing gloves and I will put some on. Next we want to measure out 28 milliliters of the isopropyl nitrite. want to charge the addition funnel. Another 8.7 grams of sodium hydroxide is added to the flask. Stirred vigorously in order to dissolve the sodium hydroxide. Now that most of the solid has dissolved, I added a bit more ethanol to help. We can now switch on the condenser water. Addition is very slow. It's starting to reach our hydrazine solution. This should be left to drip very slowly for maybe an hour and a half. 
At least the reaction mixture isn't turning orange like last time. But it's early days. I've turned the heating on. So this is now refluxing. You can see our sodium azide. This time it is white. This has been refluxing for probably another hour, so I'm going to stop it. Let it cool down. The solution will be filtered. Here is our sodium azide.